New at five, our investigation into romance catfish schemes continues. The cruise line manager, whose face has been used in schemes worldwide, has now been dropped by Facebook. Yeah, Alex, the officer who we've featured in multiple investigations, now says he has been blocked himself by the popular social media platform and without any explanation, he says. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld is in the newsroom with this new development. Thanks, Matt. Good evening. I'll tell you what, no one saw this one coming. Alessandro Cinquini and his girlfriend, Nicole Hayden, have been trying to warn women about the romance imposters using his photographs. Well, now it appears the imposters are still in, and Alex the officer is out. We determined that you are not eligible to use Facebook. That was the line Facebook dropped on 27-year-old Alessandro Cinquini a.k.a. Alex the Officer. For safety and security reasons, we can't give you any additional information. Yet the very social media imposters that have been using his photographs in these Facebook profiles, many messaging women across the globe, have gone untouched. Everything that you post can be twisted and can be used you know, to trick people. The Italian-born cruise ship employee, now living in Miami, has been fighting with Facebook and other social media sites to shut down the fakes for the last two years. And they're just almost allowing the scams and the fraud to happen. Since March, News 6 has chronicled the story of Cinquini and his real-life girlfriend, Nicole Hayden, as the couple worked to expose romance schemes actually built on promises of lavish gifts and love. They know the story works and they always use it. You can open up Facebook right now and you'll find dozens of profiles with his name and picture on there and they're all fake. As we first reported, this international catfish conspiracy hides behind Alessandro Cinquini's striking good looks. I trusted him. I really trusted him. Bindi Gasai of Gujarat, India shared her story with News 6 after losing $3,500 to an Alex imposter. I literally saved my money. She was even told to take photos of potential apartments in her hometown. They would be sharing a life together, husband and wife. I immediately knew something was wrong. Ironically, Nicole Hayden had been approached by an Alex imposter asking for $6,000 he needed to visit her in Palm County, Florida. Well, that happened a few months before the two actually met, first via FaceTime, then in person. Just yesterday, I had the first girl from Bulgaria. She said, I found... I found you guys on the internet. Their warnings have saved dozens of women from the scammers. She said, I did lose $1,000, but once I found your stories, I didn't lose any more money. But Cinquini admits he's disappointed by Facebook's decision to stop him instead of the fakes. I cannot, you know, describe this anymore. I'm speechless. News 6 reached out to Facebook for a comment, but they've remained silent so far. The Facebook website we checked does warn that the goal of romance imposters is to gain your trust and eventually your money. And obviously we've seen that. One more thing. Alessandro and Nicole are working on a plan to help the women who fell for the schemes actually get their money back. I'll have their announcement and how you can help coming up next week. Back to you. Sounds like